it's Peter's turn to talk about his sword. This is the position on the board. We'll get back to the game, folks, very shortly. But let's pan back to Peter and that beautiful sword. The sheath is amazing. Well, first of all, <laughs> I mean, uh, the, the people might think, okay, chess player, samurai sword, okay, what is this? Well, the first thing, what I think about this uh, when I look at this sword is respect. Yeah, I, I think that for chess players, this is also one of the most important things to respect your opponent. By respecting your opponent, you are respecting yourself. The game of chess, yeah, you are devoting all your life to improve. So basically, that's why I, I really love this sword simply reflects the thoughts, you know, of, of respect towards mm -hmm. everyone in the world who is trying to improve himself, no matter in which field. And uh, I was so happy when I was uh, 13 years old in 1993, when I discovered the books uh, about Miyamoto Musashi, uh, the samurai. He became my hero. Uh, I read this beautiful novel by Eiji Yoshikawa. It was five books. And uh, in Hungary, it was like translated slowly, step by step. So it took like three years to finally re read it. And, you know, the transformation of him, how he improved himself as a person and like this, that's, that's why I associate with this sword. And a very good friend of mine gave it to me as a, as a wedding present. Yeah, suddenly I even can't, can't talk because my emotion is so touched that it, it was... Konrad Laszlo, a man who I got to learn when I was 15 years old in Germany, a Hungarian, living in Germany, being a dentist. And when he was uh, to hear about the fact that the youngest grandmaster in the chess is a big Miyamoto Musashi fan, he, he felt like, okay, if I have a chance, I'm going to present this sword to Peter. And I got it from him. It means a lot to me. And uh, it's all about respect. 